Which new impact driver works for you? The new Rigid Brushless or the new Ryobi HP Brushless? We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. So what we have in front of us is the brand new Rigid Brushless Impact Driver due to hit the shelves in April of 2021. And we have the recently new Ryobi OnePlus HP Impact Driver that just hit the shelves a, a month or two ago. Now we're going to compare these and see how well they do performance wise. We're also compare a lot of specs as well, such as weight, size and that sort of thing. So let's get started. So what we have before us is the brand new rigid brushless impact driver. The model number is the R862311. This is due out in April 2021 in a four tool kit. And then I believe the next month in May, it'll be available individually. Uh, this is the Ryobi OnePlus HP, and it is the PBL ID01, and it is their new HP impact driver. They also have this in a four mode driver. This is just the single mode driver, so it does not have any modes, uh, but the max torque, max output is still identical. And the rigid, this is a little bit confusing because this is the top of the line rigid, but yet it's only a three mode driver, it does not have the auto mode. So Curious about that, but regardless, this is a three mode driver. But in high, these are pretty much identical specs. I think they claim the Rigid has 2,300 inch pounds of force, while the Ryobi is supposed to only have 2,200 inch pounds of force. Uh, but when you look at speeds, both of them are 2,900 RPMs. And I believe both of them also are 4,000 impacts per minute. They both have variable speed triggers in addition to the three modes on the Rigid and the single mode on the Ryobi, they both still have a variable speed trigger and they both have the brushless motors. The HP line has the brushless motors and the new rigid brushless line has a brushless motor. The rigid is using the new max output batteries, which they have staked a lot of claims on and we're gonna see how well it does. And the Ryobi is using the HP line of batteries, both of them two amp hours. We're gonna use some others as well. Uh, but as you see them fitted right here, the two amp hour and the two amp hour uh, on both platforms here. Now let's get a couple of measurements here. I believe they're pretty close, but there is a little difference. Uh, so looking at the back of the gun, about its widest point, uh, you're looking at 2.46 inches. And on the Ryobi, uh, you're looking, if you went to the rubber outside there, 2.46 five five inches so just about the same there and if you're looking tip to tail if you will on the impact driver 5.63 inches on the ryobi and on the rigid a little bit shorter at 5.45 inches now height on them is just about identical at right at about eight and a half a little more than eight and a half inches on these uh, but again with for lack of uh, getting into hundreds of an inch, we're gonna call them the same height. Let's get a weight on these. We'll weigh the rigid first with the two amp hour battery. Uh, we're looking at three pounds, four ounces. And if you wanna know grams, you're looking at 1,480 grams. And the Ryobi with a two amp hour battery, 1,490 grams, 1,480 grams. So identical weights three pounds, four and a half ounces, three pounds, four ounces, which it looked like it kind of back. Uh, yeah, so 1,480 grams. So both these weigh the same with the two amp hour batteries. Let's use these and then see what we think. Okay, so what we have before us is the brand new rigid brushless impact driver that's due out in April of 2021. We've got the new Ryobi HP impact driver that is already released and available, uh, which by the way, this is the three mode driver. So this has three different modes on it. This Ryobi does not have the different modes. It's just single mode, but both of them are still pretty equal. Like the specs we just went over, uh, you're looking at 2,300 inch pounds of force on the rigid and 2,200 on the Ryobi, both with a max RPM of 2,900 and I believe the impacts per minute are 4,000. So pretty much all things being equal when we're in mode three on the rigid and just out of the box with the Ryobi. Now here's what we're gonna do different is we are gonna test with the two amp hour battery. We're gonna tighten all these fasters and then we're gonna back off with our torque wrench to get kind of a tightening spec. Now, 
when we go to loosening, we'll torque each one of the fasteners. If you've seen our videos before, you know how we do that, but we'll go 50, 100, 150, and so forth and so on. They're supposed to only have 2,300 inch pounds of force, but I think what we'll see is we'll be able to back off fasteners a lot higher than that. Um, when we get above 200, we'll flip our bench around where we've got larger fasteners. But when we max out there on what it will take off, we're gonna jump up to the four amp hour battery on the rigid. We're gonna go to the, with the new max output. And then we're gonna step up to a six amp hour octane. Uh, and then on the Ryobi, we're gonna go to a three amp hour HP battery and then to a six amp hour HP battery. So I know that middle ground is not equal because it's four amp hour, three amp hour, uh, but on the max side, we'll have both six amp hours. We're just wanting to get an idea of how close in performance are these two tools. So let's get started. Which by the way, if you don't know, I'll let them hammer for five seconds each on each one of these fasters. Here we go. And make sure I'm on mode three and I have a full two amp hour battery. I wanted to show something here after 50 seconds of hammering, so five seconds each on 10 fasters. Uh, let's get an idea of, yeah, so that impact adapter is up around 100, probably 150 degrees. Yeah, 149, 152. So that gets warm. So that's why a lot of times these things break as well. Once you heat them up, they start losing some of their integrity. So we need to let that cool off a minute before we hammer on. All right, we're gonna take our gear wrench torque wrench and we're gonna back these off and see what kind of readings we get. 69 69.6, 79.9, 70.3, 70.5, 76.5. 64.2, Okay, next up is the new Ryobi HP impact driver. Again, this is not the four mode driver, but still the max ratings is the same as their four mode driver. Uh, 2,900 RPMs and 2,200 inch pounds of force. I have a full two amp hour HP battery on here. So it should take advantage of everything it has. Let's see how well it does. All right, let's use our torque wrench. Take those off. 72.1, Okay, so we'll compile that data in our spreadsheet and we'll get a factor on, you know, the difference it takes to remove a fastener versus what it took to tighten it. So we can basically take the numbers we just got with our torque wrench and back into a number of fastening torque. We'll do that here in a moment. Uh, let's get started on seeing how much it will loosen or they will loosen. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take our torque gun and we're gonna torque these to 50 foot pounds, uh, 100, 150, 200, and then do 50, 100, 150, 200 right here. So we can test 
both impacts on this same side. 200 foot-pounds is about all these smaller fasteners will take. Once we eclipse that, we'll flip it around, go to our larger fasteners, and start from 250 foot-pounds. But we're going to start at 50. There we go. Okay, so we have torqued all our fasteners to 50, 100, 150, 200 foot-pounds. We have the rigid, we've charged the battery up because we did drop a cell when we were doing the tightening, so we're back to a full charge on the two amp hour battery. Here we go. Okay, so no problem at 200 foot-pounds. Let's go to the Ryobi. And 200 foot-pounds. Okay, doesn't even seem to budge at 200 foot-pounds. I didn't see the socket moving whatsoever with the two amp hour battery. Now, the rigid did take off the 200 foot-pounds with the two amp hour battery, so that's interesting. So we're going to go up to our three amp hour HP battery, which by the way, to remind you, and we had recharged this as well, so we've got a two amp hour HP battery, did not back off that 200 foot-pounds. We're gonna go to the three amp hour, See what we get. Okay, so here's my thoughts on this. It took a while to back that off. It did start moving before the 10 second mark. I think we would galled the threads on this fastener. 200 foot-pounds is really the top on these uh, 24 millimeter fasteners. Uh, so maybe that one had an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and flip around. We'll start at 250. And by the way, I'm gonna move back down to the two amp hour and just see if that was more of a fastener issue um, than a battery issue or than a power issue. So we'll flip our unit around. We'll start at 250 foot-pounds and go from there. Okay, here we are on the other side of our test rig, a lot bigger fasteners. We're gonna start at 250 foot-pounds and start off with the rigid. Now what we've done, we've got them all torqued and we've got our rigid again. We did step up to a quarter inch, two half inch adapter here. And we've got our 33 millimeter socket because you can't get a 33 millimeter socket in three eighths. We have to use uh, the quarter inch to half inch adapter. So that's different. We're still in mode three and we still have a full battery. So we're gonna start at 250 foot pounds. So that's 450 foot-pounds that the rigid has taken off with the two amp hour battery.
I really didn't think we'd get that far, but let's go ahead and take this one to 500. See, 500 foot pound faster, two amp hour battery. I really did not think that would happen. So really no need stepping up to the uh, steeper batteries on this one, at least for backing fasteners off. So pretty impressed by that. Let's see if the Ryobi can accomplish the same thing. Okay, we are back to the Ryobi with the two amp hour battery because we're going to retry at 250 foot pounds. So 250 on the two amp hour battery. Yep, no problem. Okay, gonna stop there. That's on 350 foot pounds, it will not take that off with a two amp hour battery. So the max it would do was 300 foot pounds on the two amp hour battery. Gonna go up to a three amp hour. Yes, would do that. Okay, so since it was moving at the 10 second mark, I was still letting it run on. 500 foot pounds with the three amp hour battery. Okay, it did budge a little, but it's going really, really slow. I don't think I'm gonna give it to it. Let's see if with the six amp hour, it'll go ahead and jump off of there. Yeah, that's a hard choice to make. I don't know if, the, if it was already broken free and the six amp hour just kind of had to finish it off. But again, it, at least we eclipsed 500 foot pounds with this little impact. I'm impressed with that. Um, I really didn't think there were other impacts that were that strong. Uh, I know that Milwaukee's was very strong, but I don't think we ever broke 500 foot-pounds free. At the same time, I believe we were using 3 8 anvils and not using the half inch. So there could be uh, some difference there. Anyway, but between the Rigid and Ryobi, we're looking at pretty identical results, except with that two amp hour battery, we were able to eclipse more with the Rigid. Okay, very interesting results. By the way, I know I'm gonna have some people that are gonna say, why didn't you test the different batteries tightening? We just didn't. We can do that another time, uh, but we didn't intend to do that. We just wanted to see how well these things would do in a tightening scenario, and we weren't planning on going through all the different batteries and doing so. We will do that at a later time to be able to tell, do those larger batteries help and aid in tightening as well? But we did it on the loosening side, and you saw something very interesting. The Rigid loosened everything all the way to 500 foot-pounds with the 2 amp hour HO battery or high output battery where the Ryobi actually went through and loosened everything up to 500 foot-pounds. However, at 300 foot-pounds is where the 2 amp hour gave out. We put the 3 amp hour in and then that carried it from 350 foot-pounds all the way up to 500 foot-pounds. Now also the interesting thing is that we really haven't seen an impact driver break loose 500 foot-pounds. However, there is an asterisk there. Typically, we're using a quarter inch to three eighths adapter. When we broke ours, we went ahead and stepped up to the quarter inch to half inch adapter. So when we went to the larger fasteners, we were using the quarter inch to half inch adapter. So 
maybe that was giving us a little more strength than that 450 to 500 foot pounds. Regardless, the fact that we're taking an impact driver, torquing it faster to 500 foot pounds and breaking it free, especially when they're only rated at what 2300 and 2200 inch pounds of force, which is right at 200 foot pounds. That's pretty amazing. So here's what we got in tightening mode. We got an average of 74 foot pounds with the rigid and 76 foot pounds with the Ryobi. So very close, we'll call that the same. Which if you factor in what it takes to break free a faster, which is what we were measuring, and you divide by a factor of 80, which would bring us back to what we were seeing in tightening mode or thereabouts, at least it's a factored look on it. We got 92 foot pounds of force and 95 foot pounds of force. So again, we're going to call that same, same on tightening mode. Now, again, could we have stepped up a little higher with some higher amp hour batteries? Maybe we can do that at another time. Now let's look at the price and warranties of these. Now the Ryobi, the one with the single mode with, this is not the four mode impact driver. You can get this for $89 if you can find it. Ours was sold, our Home Depot was sold out, but still 89 bucks for this, three year warranty. Now the rigid brushless, $129 when you can buy this on its own. You also get a lifetime service agreement with the tool and the battery. So do you wanna step up to that additional $40? That's your call. Now initially you'll be able to buy these in April with a four tool kit. So this will be part of that four tool kit with two batteries for just $399. So you kind of divide that equally and you're paying less than 99 bucks for each one of the tools and you're getting batteries to boot. So which one's a better deal for you? That's for you to decide. You check them out for yourself. Again, this will be available in April, 2021, which this is the end of March, so it won't be long. If you don't mind, would you keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter? And also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already, but only if you liked our video. If you hated our video, you know the deal. Give us that thumbs down, but would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.